All right, so some thoughts on the launch control that I did during lunch today. First of all, hopefully I can find an actual video editor that can merge these two videos later. Seems hard to find a good video editor. Certainly can't find a good free one, that's for sure. Um, so, <clears throat> first of all, we stop back here on these bridges in White Plains. That's just how we roll. Leave uh, room for people to take a left here. So launch control. I have uh, launch, I had launch control in my 2008 BMW M3, which is also a V8 engine, uh, about 414 horsepower, maybe a tad more. I had a Corsa performance exhaust, so call it like 420 horsepower, maybe. Uh, I also had the DCT transmission, which is similar to the it's the paddle shifters, basically, um, which was nice. Um, however, the launch on the 2008 BMW. Um, hold on here. Why is this guy taking a left here? You're in a truck. You're not going to cut me off, hopefully. Seriously, this car feels like the front end's going to do a wheelie sometimes. Um, so on the Bimmer, on the M3, uh, it was just so many switches and knobs and leather levers and stuff you had to push and pull to get launch control activated it just wasn't that fun um there's a bimmer right there and also they said if uh they also limited how many you could do and they also like limited the warranty if you did x number of launches it was really weird how they had it set up and, and actually I when I did them a, a few times in a row it kind of disabled the feature um, I never tried it again after that I sold it shortly thereafter anyway but anyway so the so it was a pain in the butt to do the launches in the 2008 m3 now in this car the 2018 Mustang GT it's super convenient you just turn it on um, let me get a little bit of a little engine noise here. It's awesome. So in the GT, um, you set it. It's really easy to set. You just push the little Mustang button here. You can set. You can change the RPMs. I don't know that you can change the RPMs on the M3. I don't think you could. At least I never. I didn't know how to do it. Um, Performance-wise, I feel that. I feel that um, a little more tire chirping in the in the Mustang. Now that's probably due to the fact that it's colder and also there's a lot more power. Um, Performance-wise, the Mustang's more powerful, so I definitely feel that that G-force when when you launch. Uh, maybe the M3 was a little bit faster off the line. I, I don't know. I'd have to have a do it on a hotter day to be sure but anyway so all in all the fact that you can actually configure the uh, the launch control the RPMs you can have it set so it just see if it says LC right there um, I said it actually I said it the other day and it's still on so if I wanted to I could just put the clutch in floor it and, and do a launch right now um, there's no need to then there's nothing like about it voiding the warranty at least not that I've seen um, doesn't you know do anything like disabling the feature by itself if you use it more than a couple of times um, so all in all I think the launch control in this car is pretty awesome I've only done three I want to do it more I want to do it at a higher rpm I'll probably have to have like you know hot weather or at least practice the line lock to uh, do up you know over 5,000 rpms and drop the clutch there but it, it's, it's just, it just feels a lot easier to use definitely quicker definitely a lot more uh, easy to access and you basically just hit the gas drop the clutch um, by the way that doesn't even feel like a drop clutch like like you're dropping the clutch like in my STI if you drop the clutch it would like kill you it would kill the engine it doesn't even feel like that it feels like it's some sort of a controlled mechanism that launches the car it doesn't feel like the clutch is getting hammered I'm sure it's you know I'm sure it's not the greatest for the clutch but it's not like an actual clutch drop is what I'm trying to say um, it's it's smoother than that. 
so liking that so far um, yeah that's pretty much it can't wait to do a few more of those launches uh, in the meantime we'll uh, make another video uh, tomorrow all right more later <laughs>